Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, how to diagnose uh, electronic steering column lock or ESCL on any Hyundai and Kia. So basically, uh, on any Hyundai and Kia with push button start, instead of having mechanical steering lock, we have electronic steering lock, which is located just right down here, which is this component. So today I'm going to explain how to diagnose this component on the car and I will make another video very soon to show you guys how uh, this component, uh, to show you guys how this component works and how to diagnose uh, all internal components as well. So please make sure to subscribe the channel to receive notification as soon as I upload that video as well. So basically right now because ignition switch is on, uh, my steering uh, my steering is not locked but as soon as I turn the ignition switch off all right and I open the door so please just listen to the sound which is going to come from the steering column lock as soon as I open the door so right now my steering is already locked as you see I cannot rotate it anymore because it's locked uh, by ESCL. So I will name it ESCL because you will find it on all uh, manuals or many times on the scan tool as well by this name. E ESCL stands for electronic steering column lock. And obviously as, as soon as I push the uh, start button to turn the ignition switch on, I will have the steering will unlocked all right so what will happen if this component is faulty if electronic if if escl is faulty so if escl is faulty you will have this warning message on instrument cluster check steering wheel lock system and obviously you won't be able to uh turn the ignition switch on or start the engine so i keep pressing the start button and I, I, and I have this warning message uh, and I need to perform the diagnostics to be able to turn the ignition switch on or to start the engine. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the wiring diagram for uh, smart key system for the part that uh, this component is located. So right now, this is one page of a smart key system or push button start system. And right now here is smart key control module. And this one is ESCL or electronic steering column lock. So as you see, we have five wires. We have five wires. I will show all these wires on uh, ESCL connector as well on the car. So the first one is B plus or, uh, or the uh, supply voltage, which is coming from smart key system. So there is no specific or individual fuse for this component. This power is coming from smart key system. So if there is any problem for a smart key system power supply, you will have some failure. You will have some problem on ESCL as well. But having problem on a smart key system uh, power supply doesn't mean that you will have exactly the same fault because for a smart key system, we have multiple fuses in uh, interior fuse box, at least three fuses. And one of those fuses belongs to ESCL power supply. So it means if that fuse is blown, you will have steering column lock uh, warning message and you won't be able to uh, turn the ignition switch on or start the engine. So this is going to be your first step to check all fuses for a smart key system because one of them is responsible to provide this power supply to, ES to ESCL uh, through smart key system so the second one so this one was orange wire the second one is brown which is for ground uh, we have enable signal here which is a green black wire this one is actually a command signal from ESCL for enabling the ESCL for perform for locking or unlocking the ESCL and we have two other wires one one is unlock which is this blue orange wire. This is actually unlock signal 
uh, from ESCL to a smart key system. This is actually a feedback signal from here to ESCL to show that to show to smart key system that ESCL is unlocked. But there is another feedback line as well that we call it data line, this green wire. This is actually another feedback uh, from ESCL to a smart key system. So because uh, making sure that steering is already unlocked is really, really important for the safety of the driver and passengers. That's why we have two feedback uh, from ESCL to a smart key system to make sure ESCL is uh, unlocked. So first of all, I told you about this power supply, but I need to emphasize something else as well. Any of these wires, if there is any problem, if there is any problem on ESCL connector or any of these single wires or ESCL itself, you will have the same warning message. All right. So basically, you can start uh, by checking that fuse that I told you earlier. Uh, making sure that the connector on ESCL is connected properly and you can go for checking all these five wires one by one which is connected between ESCL and a smart key system but you need to remember on some early models of Hyundai and Kia with push button start system because there are multiple versions of a smart key system on the earliest model we used to have another control module which was PDM so if inside the wind diagram, if you have PDM as well, some wires are connected to PDM in, on that case. So you need to make sure to check uh, those wires connected to a smart key system and those wires which are connected to PDM. And if we have PDM, normally the power supply comes from uh, PDM. On this version, PDM is installed inside the smart key system. That's why we have all these wires connected to a smart key control module all right this is the this is the ESCL connector and as I said earlier uh, this orange wire this orange wire is actually the power supply uh, we have this brown which is ground uh, the green one that one is a data line which is one of the feedbacks from the ESCL to a smart key control module this blue orange wire this one is another feedback which is going to send the unlock signal to a smart key control module. This green black is actually enable signal which is actually a command signal from a smart key control module to ESCL to, to enable the ESCL to lock or unlock it. All right, so this is how we can find the wiring. So from here, from here, after checking the connector itself, you can check all these pins, all these wires one by one. You can check the uh, continuity short to ground from here to a smart key uh, control module. So for finding the location of a smart key, uh, I can show you this one. You can use the workshop manual is normally behind the dash. For example, for this car, this is a smart key control module location just right here. But out of all this power supply that we have for the smart key system, as you see here, uh, this 25 amp and the other 25 amp number one and two, these two belongs to a uh, smart key control module. But between these two, one of them is for the CPU, the other one is for the load. So if I locate number one right here, uh, this is fused. This is the 25 amp fuse number one. And if I locate it on, and if I locate it on, on the fuse box right here, basically this is the fuse box and this is exactly the location for fuse number one. So I removed this one to simulate the fault for you guys for making this video. This is my fuse. If I put the fuse back on, so I put the fuse back on, right? So if I press the start button, as you see, there is no warning light again. All right, so I'm gonna take the fuse out again to show you how this fault works. So I remove the fuse number one, and right now I have check a steering wheel lock system again. So one simple fuse can cause 
this series fault, all right? So basically before removing all component down there or removing the steering lock itself or trying to replace it, I've seen, I've seen some guys uh, who replaced the ESCL just for this problem. But the problem was not from the ESCL because some guys, as soon as they see this warning message, they tend to replace the ESCL. But as you saw, the problem could be from that single fuse or it could be from that wiring that I told you, that I showed you on the car. But there are some functions for checking the ESCL on a scan tool as well. I'm gonna show you that that's one as that's one too. So if the ESCL is neutralized, you have to perform reprogramming the keys. If ESCL is brand new, you have to again perform uh, relearning the keys. So there is no procedure for relearning the ESCL itself. You need to perform reprogramming the keys to uh, program the ESCL as well. So I have already connected my scan tool. Ignition switch is on. All right, and in the scan tool, after selecting the car, as you see, I have Kia Optima 2014, and this is the engine type. In the system selection, I go for a smart key. Okay. And in here, I need to go for a special function. I have some other videos on the channel to show you how to perform diagnostic for all these options for the smart key. You can find it, you can find those videos on the channel. But today I'm gonna focus only on ESCL, which is this one. So first of all, I have this option, ESCL communication line check. So this one is actually checking the communication line between ESCL and a smart key system. So Ignition switch must be off. I turn the ignition switch off. And, and when I go for OK, and one more time, it has been completed means, means the communication line between ESCL and a smart key system is OK. So you can perform this diagnosis from here. And if I go further, I have one option for ESCL neutralization. So when do, when do I need to perform this neutralization? Normally I do that if I want to swap one ESCL from this car to the other car, I neutralize it here and I uh, reprogram the keys on the second car. Or sometimes when I have some strange uh, behavior from uh, ESCL before replacement, I try to neutralize and reprogram uh, the ESCL just to make sure if the problem was something from the software. Sometimes uh, sometimes you get positive answer from this one. So for neutralization, the only thing you need is to have the pin code, the same pin code that you use for reprogramming the keys. And right now here, ignition switch must be off. If I go for OK, I need to enter the pin code and that's gonna be it. I will uh, neutralize the ESCL just by doing that. I have ESCL status information as well so ignition switch off which is off so as you see my escl enable status status is off right now because there is no signal right now sent from a smart key to escl to enable it so uh condition is unlocked because my steering is unlocked and normal means it's learned so if it is neutralized instead of normal you will have neutral or neutralized if uh, your smart if your ESCL is brand new one you will have virgin so in both cases if you have neutralized or virgin you need to perform programming the keys to uh, learn the ESCL as well so right now I'm going to open the door to activate because as soon as I open the door ESCL will lock the steering wheel all right so I will lock the door I will so I will open the door so you have a look at uh, enable signal and this unlock all right have a look at these two items so as you saw for just one moment this ESCL enable status turned to on because a smart key sent enable signal to ESCL and ESCL already changed the change the uh, status from unlocked to locked because my steering wheel is already uh, locked so basically I had 
these options for uh, inspecting the ESCL on a scan tool. I keep it in your mind. If you replace the ESCL, you have to program the keys. If you use, if you wanna use ESCL from another car, you need to neutral, you need to neutralize it on the first car, and after install it, after install it on uh, the second car, you have to perform teaching the keys to program the ESCL. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna have I'm gonna upload another video for showing you guys how to diagnose the interior components of the ESCL as well. Uh, so please don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.